We just did uh, Man vs. Machine for the breakfast sandwiches. I'm going to show you now the ultimate breakfast sandwich, okay? Jason, no, we're going to yeah. make a croque monsieur. A traditional croque monsieur. A traditional. So explain yeah. what it is, first of all. I, well, there's some ham, there's some cheese. I think in North America we know as a croque monsieur as being basically a grilled cheese sandwich but with ham in it. Right. You know what I mean? We get it mixed up with the Monte Cristo, which is more like French toast. It's just a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. But, you know, when I was in Paris, I realized that there's a little bit more to it. And, mm -hmm. you know, it starts, and there's, it's very specific, too. You know, you want to start with a nice, good French white bread. Okay. Uh, but don't get into all the baguettes. It's a nice slice like this. Um, take a little bit of Dijon mustard on ah. there. That's a good idea. And did you see how I said a little bit yeah, of Dijon mustard? Good, yeah. um, oh, wait a minute. Maybe just a little bit more on there. Wow. You know, but you want tang. You want that yeah. tang to come yeah. through, right? Um, but then it's a good ham. You know, a nice black forest ham of some kind. Nice. Uh, and this is, again, you know, when you're doing the tradition, you want to stay this road, but you can always make it up yourself. Do some roast beef in there, you Ooh. know. Um, but don't get skimpy on the filling. I mean, you mm -hmm. know what? Just, just put it on there. Just put it. Ow. <laughs> yeah, get in there, right? There. Yeah. All right, That's like a that. Super wow. Size. Yeah, why not? It's a meal. Should we a bit more? Keep no, in no. mind. Uh, <laughs> and then Gruyere cheese. You know, is that the cheese to use? You or want is that, that tang. Cheese? Okay. You know, that little bit of. Yeah. Mm, and it has that on. perfect melting point too in the caramelization yep. that comes in the Gruyere. It's beautiful. So. Now here's the thing though, I always, when it comes to a grilled cheese sandwich, I'm always like, so how, how do you butter both sides without, so the thing I always do is I just simply start with, now this one's a little warmer because of the show, but yeah. I start with a cold pan and I just butter the outside of the top. You start with a cold pan? Yeah. Okay. And the reason for that is because I can't butter the other side without making a mess on this side, so I just butter it and then I uh, butter the other side right in the pan. Got it. Right? Gives it a mean to butter side down. Yeah, but, there you go. <laughs> right? yeah. but you know, so far, I think everybody's looking at this and going, well, this is just a grilled cheese sandwich with ham, right? This looks very similar to yeah, what I've always done before. With a lot of ham. You know, and then you would turn that on and start toasting it away, slowly cook it, but you'd end up with perfectly golden brown, you know, like nice sandwich like that. Uh -huh. That's your grilled cheese as we know it. Mm -hmm. Where you really need to take it to the next step is you need to layer the cheese Ooh. right over top. Wow. More cheese. You know? And it's not a cheese sauce. I mean, some places can do that. That's OK. But I think the tradition was literally just to take it, and it's overlapping on the edges, and you stick that into the broiler. Ah. So really, it's because it's French meeting England, right? Because you've got good cheese on toast. Right, um, that's true. But you know, you just stick that under the broiler, and you let it bubble. You let it burn a little bit. And what you end up with is, look at this. That's the trump so card. So the Isn't extra layer, very you know, nice. It's yeah. a knife and fork kind of thing to eat. Yeah. But this thing has got so much cheese, so much ham, the tang of the, you know, the mustard in there. Serve that with some little gherkins and capers on the side. And I'm telling you, that is a great breakfast sandwich. And I mean, sandwich. hot out of the broiler, fantastic. But if you make an extra one or two next day in your lunch, that's OK. Well, yeah, we that's around okay. Paris. Yeah. You know, you get those, you just have them in your hands, you're walking around because when they chill down, they're a little firmer, right? So you right. can pick them up, right? That is but beautiful. Perfect. Okay, citylight.ca for that uh, for that recipe. Come on in, ladies. Because I, you know what? I was really touched by your um, your vacation <laughs> stories. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know that's fantastic, but I loved I loved your story. So uh, what are the plans for this year? Is anyone going anywhere? Where are you going to go? I'm off to Greece and Turkey. Oh, oh yeah, well, nice. Is yeah, that work or pleasure? Well, Tell me both. it's work. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. both. It's always a little bit of work, it's always, right? Because it's food. Well, when you go to places like this, there's no way. I, mean, I have a blog, so I want to be able to write things about it mm. and be able to share my experiences with people. So we yes. always make a bit of work. So you're staying Mediterranean, though, yes. with both? Oh, my goodness. You yeah. are going to absolutely love I it. I can't wait. Turkey is some of the most beautiful cities uh, mm. in the world, and same with Greece. Anyone else? Good plans? Cruise well, next week. Where are you oh, going where? on your cruise? I don't even know. My wife told me. <laughs> Yeah. I know we're leaving from Miami. She said, this is the date. Do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. like, You're okay. such a man. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I don't know. I'll be there, baby. I promise. <laughs> I will be there. I will be at the yeah. airport. You guys, any big travel plans? We're going to do wine, California wine region. Oh, yeah. We've never I done it. I love it. it. So we're going to do that. And we're about to go to Hilton Head, and we're going to drive oh, there. Very nice. Oh, nice. Just for the experience of going through all the Southern. It'll be fun. OK, hey. well, we'll have to meet back here, because I want your stories from your next vacation. Yeah. They're great. Yeah, all right, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow on City Line. <laughs>